Next subject is file sharing. And for today, we are not going to cover FTP. We are going to deal with two applications from our App Store. So just open your App Store and navigate to File Drop and File Browser. We are going to install these two applications. And another one. All right, what's the catch with these three? With files, this works exactly the same as File Explorer on your computer. But the catch is you have to be logged in as user to CasOS. With uh, another application in this list, so with File Drop, let me show you. Go to Settings, navigate uh, to uh, these two fields. So whatever content you have in your local storage, data, update, file drop, data, you are going to see as root storage in file drop. So what I'm going to do now, first I'm going to uh, open file drop. No, we are not going to translate anything. You see that we have nothing on our list. Now I'm going to go back to Casa OS, go to files, so app data, file drop, data and in here we are going to create uh, one uh, file call it new file doesn't matter submit okay we have one file in here go back to file drop and refresh it you see we have our new file for download so this application it's one uh, really handy way if you want to have some uh, list of files available for download for some people on your local network but aside of that this application cannot do much so i'm going to close this uh, and we are going to deal with file browser now. So go to settings of file browser, navigate to these uh, two fields. So now whatever you have in uh, root data of your local storage, that is going to be a uh, root of your file browser. And this application works more like FTP server, but actually it's not. We are going to cover FTP servers later on. For now, I'm just going to show you these two applications. So now I'm going to open file browser and I'm going to uh, log in as admin, admin. So these are uh, first credentials that you are going to use. Uh, and now this root directory, it's actually a root data on your local file system. As you see, you have uh, app data, documents, downloads, same as here. And let us check in uh, app data that uh, file that we created a minute ago. So it was in file drop, in data, and we have a new file. But why is this application so much different than uh, file drop? Let me show you. In here, you have a lot of interesting settings uh, that you can deal with. So, for example, you can uh, change credentials of your admin or go to global settings and experiment with some of these or go to user management and create a new user. For example, KST with password. Uh, choose uh, whatever permissions you want to give to this user and just click on save. And now we have a new user. Now I'm just going to log out and I'm going to log in with my new user. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new, something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.